Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I have a question in here on the email from uh, Attical. I hope I'm saying that right. He says, hi Matt, I'm a big fan of yours. Learning a lot from your videos. Thank you. I just got into shooting video and I have a Nikon D5600. Right now I am planning to get a 35mm prime lens considering the Yongnu uh, 35 f2 and the Miticon Creator 35 f2. I understand that the Miticon is three times more expensive than Yongnu and the Miticon doesn't have autofocus. Thankfully, I don't need autofocus as my use case is video only. I just want to choose the sharper and more color accurate one from these two. Would you please give your valued opinion on this? I hope you will. Thanks. And that's Attical. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, okay, well, great question. However, I actually have... Uh, I don't have any opinion on either of these because I haven't shot the Yongnu. I've shot the Nikon 35 F2 um, that uh, that Yongnu is basically copied off of. And the Nikkor is awesome, but I don't think the Yongnu is quite as good. I think it's okay, but I don't think it's quite as good. And the Metacon Creator 35 F2, I haven't, uh, haven't shot that, and I really don't know much about it. So this is a situation where uh, if I had to buy something in that range, I would get that 35 from Nikon. Or the the new current DX, the 35 f1.8, which is a, is a darling of a little lens. Um, but if you're looking to go specifically between one of these two, I'm going to throw it back to our viewers. Who of you have shot the Yongnu 35 f2 or the Metacon Creator 35 f2? What's your experience with it? What would you recommend? Um, do you own it? Have you shot it? Let us know. If you've shot both and you can contrast and compare great if you have experience with one or the other, let us know what uh, your feelings on it are. Uh, leave in the comments below. It'd be great if you could help out Attical. In this situation, like I said, I haven't shot out of these lenses. So I'm going to throw it back to you guys, and hopefully we get some user feedback, some hands-on user feedback. Um, looking forward to seeing that. Looking forward to hearing your opinions and your user feedback on these lenses. Um, thanks, Attical. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.